Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a truck for all of your city building needs. This truck is an incredibly useful build for those of you that have cities and have businesses that would actually rely upon trucks, such as coffee places or fast food restaurants like Subway or Starbucks, and of course supermarkets probably wouldn't be able to exist without them. And this build is also a great way to fill up any cities you may be making. I do hope that you guys enjoy making this one. If you do, please do consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button. But without any further ado, let's get started. Now, before you start building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that you are going to require to make your truck. Please do make sure that you have access to all of them and enough of them as well. And also bear in mind that you can make this any color that you like. So you're not just limited to the colors that I'm using, but please do customize this to your own liking. The amount of ground space required to make the truck is a three by 11 block area on the ground. Now you are more than welcome to make the same grid that I have in your world if you are building this somewhere specific and that's it please make sure that you have all of those materials make sure that you have a good place to make this make sure you're ready and once you are we can begin step one truck building friends come all the way to the front left hand corner of your grid that is if you've made the grid if not you can just really start building whenever the first thing that we must do is place a smooth stone slab half a row above the starting position so that it is floating on the ground. Now behind this slab I want you to place a black concrete and then another slab, black concrete, two slabs, black concrete, two slabs, two black concrete and then a slab. We are going to extend the slab across by two, one, two, and then we are going to copy everything that we did on that side of the build onto this side of the build. This is the base and foundation for our truck, and we also want to fill this in using some smooth stone slabs. That is perfect. So now that we have achieved this look, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to begin building up the front of the truck. So I want you to place a blast furnace or any furnace facing forward on the front middle part of the truck. We are going to place quartz stairs left and right of the furnace. And we are going to place three rows of block of quartz moving backwards from not only the furnace but everything else as well like this i want you to place a row of black stained glass pane on the front row of your block of quartz we're going to stick a quartz slab above the furnace as well to shape the front of the truck additionally we are going to place block of quartz around the rest of the square area that we have where we placed the glass so we're creating this sort of shape it kind of actually sort of looks like a question mark or something what we also want to do is place a row of quartz stairs along the top back portion of the truck and we want to just place some quartz slab moving forward from the stairs to over encompass the glass in front. We're going to stick two item frames in front of the quartz stairs on the front of the truck and then that is actually enough detail for now. So now that we have done that ladies and gentlemen, we are going to turn our attention to the back part of the truck. So I want you to grab white concrete or literally any color that you like. It doesn't matter. I, I prefer concrete, but any colorful block. We're going to leave a gap of one between the actual truck cabin. And we are going to place a layer of white concrete all the way around the back part of the truck in a rectangular like fashion. 
take out a secondary color or it doesn't matter if you can do this in a multitude of ways you can even create a pattern if you like but the way that I like this is I like a foundation of white and then two rows of a colorful block on top but you can do this any way you could have three rows of red concrete you could have three rows of black like it, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're happy with the result fill the top of this in like so and now we have a pretty basic truck i'm going to hang two item frames off the back two corners of the truck i'm going to reluctantly put all of these materials away i hope that i won't need them again i'm going to grab the iron doors buttons tripwire hooks oak sides anvil grindstone and red concrete some of these materials are optional, some can be swapped out, you're more than welcome to change things as we go along. So the first thing that we're going to do is add red concrete to the back two item frames as those are brake lights. Additionally, an oak sign in between them is going to represent like a license plate. We're going to create an entrance into the back, although you don't actually have to put anything in the truck, you don't even have to include the door if you don't want to. But obviously, if you do include the door, you might want to include a way to get in and out, but you can store stuff in the back of the truck if you like. We're going to use buttons on every single part of the sides of the wheels. So everywhere that you've got black concrete, those are wheels, you're going to want to put buttons like that on the front of the truck as we have managed to get here i did forget that we will be needing our white concrete and you can place white concrete in the item frames as those are headlights you can also if you like add a sign to the bottom front of the truck as that is a license plate if you like and i don't know whether i even like this myself tripwire hooks look like door handles so you can place those where you would enter the cabin of the truck there is a separation between the front of the truck and the back of the truck. As a matter of fact, as you guys might know, a truck doesn't even need this back part whatsoever. The truck only needs this front part, and it can drive around, and it kind of looks a little bit weird actually seeing it, but this part can drive around by itself. It's connected together with some sort of connecting device like it's like a big metal thing sometimes it looks like wires i figure either perhaps like a grindstone kind of looks like what would connect the truck front to back back to front and i'm quite like just having a grindstone there it looks like what it might be connected with or alternatively you could use say like an anvil that also doesn't look too far apart either you can space them apart, you can have one on either side, you can just have the grindstone in the middle. It really doesn't matter which you do, you could even use a combination of both. I quite like just having the grindstone though. And ladies and gentlemen, we have actually completed our truck. There is nothing that we haven't done. So this is what your truck will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. You are now ready to create your very own convoy of trucks in your worlds. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it really, really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you are new around here and you want to see all of the other city related builds that I'm going to be building in the future, please subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That will ensure that you get all of my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And not only that, if you would like to check out any of my other builds, of which you may be able to tell there are many, check them all out in the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section. We have many city-related builds around here, and I'm sure that there might be something in there that you would like to build. Trust us. But that's pretty much everything, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you very, very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.